right, welcome to the Clark County Museum. My name is Amber Colbert. I am the Clark County Museum Administrator. Today we're gonna look at Heritage Street and it is all decked out for the holidays. Just as you decorate and have your family traditions for the holidays, we here try to show some of those traditions that have been in our county for years. All the houses are decorated to the eras that they would have been decorated as. And we're gonna explore some of them, so come with me. So today we're in the Gumon house, and this is an example of how we celebrate the seasons here at Clark County Museum. So every house is decorated to a tradition for that era. And this era is, of course, the 1950s. So behind me, you'll see an aluminum tree. These were all the rage at the very end of the 1950s. 1959, they came out and they flew off the shelves. People wanted them from all over. Now, if you do notice though, there's no lights on that tree. And that is because it's aluminum and it would conduct electricity and cause a big, huge fire hazard. So the way they would actually light these trees is right below it, you'll see there's a color wheel. That color wheel would spin and illuminate that tree in different colors. Now, we moved away from the aluminum tree, of course, after 1969, or 65, excuse me, with the Charlie Brown special. Charlie Brown was tired of those commercial Christmas trees, and he went out and got that small little pathetic Christmas tree. After that aired on television, 1971 rolled around, and all the manufacturers of these aluminum trees went out of business. So moving from the 1950s, we're now going to the 1940s during World War II, and basic magnesium came down, set up their plant in between Las Vegas and Boulder City, which eventually led to the development of Henderson. So let's take a look at how it would look in 1942. Well, if you notice, this tree actually has lights on it. So this would have been a real tree um, that they would have used. And they would have decked it out in these 1940 era colored lights. We have a young boy playing with some Christmas books. They would have had some Christmas big band music playing. Um, but times would be a little scarce being that World War II is going on. So they would have to gather as much as they could, um, kind of scrap together a nice Christmas during the war time. So now we're even further back. This house was built in 1912, but we have it representing the 1920s. The Beckleys were a very prominent family in our community. Let's see how they decorated for Christmas. So coming in, you'll see they have their piano decorated with garland and holly. And then in the dining room, they're having a big feast. And their Christmas trees decorated a little differently. So we do have lights on it, but these lights are representing candles. These candles would have been lit on Christmas Eve. They'd have that, as I said, pail of water, pail of sand next to them, just in case that tree caught on fire. We also have our stockings hung by the fire with care. Um, now this house is the only house that we never put lights on, on the outside. Being that electricity just got to Las Vegas in 1911, you wouldn't have big Christmas lights outside on this house. So we make sure to make that sure that this house is authentic, not only on the inside, but the outside too. Thank you for joining me today. Heritage Holidays is going to be going throughout December all the way till January 10th. So come out and join us. We're open seven days a week, except for Christmas and New Year's Day, from 9 a.m. to 4.30. Admission, $2 per, per, per adult, a dollar per senior or child. So come out and join us and get into the holiday season.